Good morning, 8.34 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Tuesday, January 4th, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. I want to wish everybody a good morning here. We've got to look at XRP. We'll, we'll go over a few things. We'll look at the XRP price action. We need to look at the XRP Bitcoin pairing, along with Bitcoin as it's sustained over 69000 as of right now. XRP's up. About three quarters of a percent on average, right around the 52.3 cent level. We still have a lot of work to do. We still need to get up near that 53. Well, we'll go over the technical analysis, but we do need to break up quite a bit more here. We want to continue pushing up off of yesterday's long leg doji in the daily. Today, we've got an engulfing candle, which is what we talked about last night. If we had a close where we did and what we were suspecting could happen on this. Um... And right now we are pushing up. We need to start pushing up near that 53.7 cent layer and see if we either get a rejection there or if we can continue to push up and out and have a little bit of support from the bulls. But right now in the daily time frame, that candle looks pretty good. It's engulfing to the top size unless it reverses down. We had a nice reversal yesterday in the Long Lake Doji. And today it started exactly like you would hope for. And now we're looking for continuation. As Bitcoin has corrected a little bit, but XRP continues to try to find some momentum. And the next major resistance is up here at that 53.77 level. So that's a huge pivot point. That's a major level of resistance. We've also got on this cup and handle formation. We know we've already bounced off of the support. So now it's, it's a matter of moving up universally. And we bounce off of the handle support multiple times. Even overnight, we came back down to near the 517 mark. Managed to hold it. And now, like I said, if we continue pushing up... First area is going to be that 53.7 cent area. And then you start to be able to push up to that mid-tier handle resistance would be uh, target number two. And that's right around 56.3 cents right now. So 53.7 and 53.3 er, 53 approximately are the next two moves. Assuming that we can hold this formation. It still looks like it's set up in somewhat of a small bull flag here. So I would expect... I would expect it to come up and retest those areas. Now that can be invalidated, that, that thought process, if we lose the 517 and get rejected there. That would that would um, invalidate this current structure. But as long as it's bouncing off of this handle support, these are very bullish setups. The cup and handle formation is one of the most bullish setups in technical analysis. It doesn't mean that it has to play true 100% of the time, but if it does play bullish off of it and it stays true, you can expect a very big rally to happen. Most would not suspect it, but as long as it's in that cup and handle formation, it is set up in a very nice fashion. As we go further into this update, we're gonna talk about a few things. The Ripple CTO revealed how attacks can happen on the XRP ledger. So anybody using the ledger needs to be understanding of this. Um, we talked yesterday about how Ripple may dump 400 million XRP, which would be a record in June. And then the details, and we'll go over that briefly as well. And then um, just in the news today for XRP, investors watch Ripple case closely and bet on Fed rate cuts. So a lot are betting on the fact that the Fed's going to um, lower rates, which I would not be surprised in an election year. I'd be actually more surprised if they raised rates. Um, so I expect at least one cut to happen this year. I know it seems crazy, but when you're in an election cycle, they want to make the markets look better than they are. And one way to have a big impact on the markets would be to cut rates. It would make some of the markets absolutely go parabolic. Uh, precious metals, it would help. Commodities, it would help. You'd see another expansion in the price of, um, or um, uh, appreciation in the price of gold and silver and precious metals and commodities if that happened. Um, cryptocurrency, that would be good for as well because if they cut rates, expect the printing presses to go nuts. And you know, in the world of when they're printing money, it finds its way into the market. So don't be surprised if we see a lot of volume coming in, especially if and when the Ethereum ETF is tradable. Once that happens, that's going to bring more market share to crypto. And then going into 25, we've got the um, optimism of an XRP ETF. So buying before the ETF is announced because that's just standard operating procedure and that will come down the pipeline. That will come down the pipeline. There's a lot of collateral and a lot of liquidity to be moved through uh, 
Ripple or XRP, and it would make perfect sense to create an ETF. So that's something that we're watching into the future. Please make sure to hit that like button so YouTube recommends this update. By you hitting that like button, YouTube not only recommends it, but I pass, I end up in the recommendations and the algorithm, and that means when you're searching on YouTube, you will be able to find my content. Even if you've never seen my show before or this program, you'll be able to find this community simply by searching through YouTube. We pop up in the news feed by more reactions and more comments is the only way YouTube is going to push this program. And we certainly could use a boost here as the cryptocurrency topics are a little hit right now. A lot of people are avoiding the subject. But I believe now, when most have gone away, is the time that you should be looking. I'm not as interested in crypto or commodities or things like that when everybody's looking for it. But when nobody's talking about it, that's when I become very, very intrigued. And that's where I believe we're at right now with cryptocurrency. So I'll give you a second to hit that like button as I play the intro. And please, please make sure to hit that like button so YouTube recommends this community. Now, before we get back into the charts, and I thank you for hitting that like button, I'd like to read this very quickly. So, Ripple CTO reveals how XRP Ledger can get attacked. So, anybody trading on the ledger or storing your stuff on the ledger, pay attention to this. David Schwartz, Chief Technology Officer at Ripple, believes that a serious attack on the XRP Ledger is unlikely. During his recent appearance on the Defiant, David Schwartz, Chief Technolog or Technology Officer at Ripple, has revealed that the only way to attack the XRP ledger is to disrupt the global ordering of transactions. In such a scenario, the entire network would halt. Swartz went on to explain how the proof of association POA, the XRP ledger's unique consensus protocol works, stating that it puts all transactions in order to solve the double spend problem. Whichever transactions come first is valid. Whichever transactions come second is invalid, he said. At the same time, Schwartz believes that there is no incentive to stop the XRP since it is hard to imagine how it would be possible to turn this into revenue. The Ripple CTO claims that the XRP ledger has only faced rather generic attacks so far. No one has ever tried to attack on this level of sophistication. With that being said, Schwartz admits that there is a risk that someone opens an XRP short and attempts to perform a serious attack in order to push the price lower. However, there are both theoretical and practical reasons why XRP holders should not worry too much about this attack. According to Ripple executive, Schwartz says that the people who let someone short XRP should be aware of such an attack, since they would not let someone short the cryptocurrency to such a great extent. Moreover, the Ripple executive has noted that the network can only be attacked once for a short period of time. During his conversation with podcast host Camilo Russo, Schwartz also weighed in on such issues as the XRP distribution, use cases, smart contracts, as well as Ripple's ongoing legal battle with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. So I just wanted to go over that because that was something in the news, but an attack seems rather unlikely, but you could see how someone would try to push it to their advantage in a scenario like he was saying, where they would short the market and cause a little bit of price depreciation to, uh, to bolster their uh, interest, let's just say. So we'll come back to some of the reading in just a sec. As XRP sitting at 52.3 cents, we've talked about the fact that we're over the cup and handle support. We've talked about the fact that we have holding this underneath support as well. And the next major resistance here would be around 53.7 cents. If we can get over that, the next area of opportunity would be 56.4 cents. And then if it gets over the mid-tier handle resistance, we've got this 57.2 cent area. That if we get past, this would break out of the short-term bear flag, bull flag setup. And then even with the mid-tier handle resistance right around $0.64, cents, this would suggest a push up into that range would be the next logical resistance. So that's something that we're looking at. If we can get past these major areas of resistance, we do have that major pivot point at $0.53.7. Cents. I feel like over the last week or two, we've been just repeating ourselves. But until the pattern formation breaks one way or the other, you've got to look at this from a logical standpoint and the only way to look at this is the formation we're in and until this either breaks down or gets a mid-tier resistance 
and we get a rejection to prove that we're bearish, it looks like we're going to start to push up here a little bit. We talked about the W reversal that was forming yesterday during the live. And now it looks like it's starting to go. It's starting to push up. We do need to push past the short four-hour time frame. Uh, this is 52.6 cents. And it looks like we're starting to push up towards that 53.7 uh, cents. That's what it looks like XRP is trying to do. We have a beautiful engulfing candle here in the daily time frame. This is exactly what you want to see after a long leg doji reversal in the last four uh, daily time frame. After a drop down, it looks like a W reversal is trying to form as we speak. And it's just going to take a little more of a pull up here. Boom, boom. And if this pulls up, that's a nice W reversal. Gartley, in fact, right on the uptrending support. So these are bullish uh, reversal candles here right now. So now we would need to push past 53.7 cents to get on top of that to validate the short-term trend reversal. And then we could start pushing up towards those areas of interest around 56.4 and then up near 57 and a half cent area. But this is what would have to happen universally. So that's what we're gonna watch with XRP this morning as it sits right at about 52.3 cents. As we've said, the mid-tier handle support is holding. Or I mean, the handle support is holding. Now our next area of interest is this mid-tier handle resistance around the 56.3 cents. But first, we would have to break past the pivot point of 53.7 cents. I don't want anybody to get ahead of themselves on this uh, chart setup this morning or this technical setup. The XRP market cap right now is at 29 billion, up 0.67%. Looking okay this morning. As we talked about in the live yesterday, it looks like we're going to have a nice engulfing candle yesterday. As long as we had closed up near where we did, with the XRP price action, we wanted 52.1 cents, which we hit pretty nicely. Uh, we wanted to be as close to 29 billion as possible for uh, the daily close yesterday, which we did nicely. And now we have an engulfing candle. And now we're going to be looking to close over 29 billion and start pushing up. Because if we could get a little bit of attention here from the bulls, we could garner enough steam to make a little bit of a rally here. First level's 53.7, second level's 56.3, third level's roughly 57.4 area. So just pay attention to those three areas. And if you get past that, then we can talk about the mid-tier cup and handle resistance for XRP, which would be up at around 62 and a half cents, 63 cent area. But we've got a little bit of work to do before that. So we'll just look at the short term and try to build into the long term as we have during this update. Um, XRP Bitcoin pairing will do right after we cover Bitcoin, which is at 69,000 and some change, up about 200 points on the day. We had a nice push up to resistance yesterday, not quite to resistance, but it did push up near 70K. Right now we need to push over 70,500 and hold it. And that would confirm a signal that we already have right now as we're on an inverse head and shoulders. We're trying to confirm a signal on this breakout of the pennant flag. And the only way to do that is to break up and hold 70,500. And that would confirm the short term signal to 77,965. And then if we could get on top of that, that would solidify the move up to about 88K. I know that's a extreme move but this is something that's setting up for bitcoin we're in the expansion zone right now and if we could break that top trending resistance at 70,500, we're going to signal a much bigger move of about 7500 points and that might not even be the end of it it could be all, all the way up to 88k and then farther if it played true but right now we've got to look at the short-term narrative when i put in this inverse head and shoulders it looks like it's breaking off an inverse right arm and if it does push up in the short term, we could really see a seven to 8,000 point swing here. We really, really could. We really, really could. We've just got to break up another about 1,500 points and try to retest that 70,500. Right now, we're a little bearish to start the day, but it always looks a little more bearish in the mornings on the East Coast, um, especially when the West Coast starts trading as well. 9.30 a.m. is about 6.30 a.m. on the West Coast. Um, on the East Coast, it's a very nice time for traders for the volatility. So there is a lot to watch here today. So just pay attention to Bitcoin and pay attention to that 70,500 because we're within that area of, you know, within the range of air where if we do make one more push up, this could be for a spectacular rally. It really could. The fact that we came back down, back tested these areas and didn't just fully go break away on the um, nice push yesterday, could be leaning towards the fact that we could have a nice move here. Now understand though, that's only one potential here. That's that's where it's looking like. But if we were to ever break back down and not hold 63, like we could come down to 63,700 again and back test this area. 
but you really would like to see this start to break in a bullish fashion if you are looking at that positive momentum. So we do have an opportunity here. It's just, it could go either way. You could even get a rejection here, come to 63.5 and then break out. Or you come over 70,500 in the due time this week, and then you start pushing out towards 77,900 and some change. That's what we're looking at for Bitcoin. And now for the XRP Bitcoin pairing, as it's up about 0.53% or at the 759 level. Yesterday I bought another 100, about 100 bucks. I'm at about $5,100 now in the XRP Bitcoin pairing. It's down about 1.6% today. Less than $100, it's down about 80 something dollars right now. But I continue to pile in as it's given me the opportunity. In the daily time frame, it could be putting in a long leg doji reversal candle here, which would be really nice to see as it's starting to push up. If we can close, so what we wanna see here at the end of the day, we would like to see a close somewhere around the 764 sat level. And that could give us a major engulfing candle here, a very nice bullish engulfing candle. Just like we've seen with the XRP price action from yesterday to today, that is the opportunity that could be setting up here. So pay very close attention to that for the XRP Bitcoin pairing. And I'm up over about 9,400 XRP additional now, buying it through the XRP Bitcoin pairing. So what I do is I buy Bitcoin, and then I use the Bitcoin to buy it through the XRP Bitcoin pairing as the ratio is so off kiltered. And what that does, it gives me the ability not to just sell it and value for XRP if the price were to go up and XRP appreciation didn't stay on course with Bitcoin, but it also gives you the opportunity to sell out through the XRP Bitcoin pairing so that you can make a little bit more money if the pairing is way out of whack. And that's what seems to be going on right now. So that's something we're continuing to watch for. So if you're looking to trade XRP in the USA or worldwide, look in the video description below and or pin comments. No VPN required. The lowest spot and leverage trading fees in the USA. You can do spot and leverage and you don't need to do a KYC unless you send from a bank account to bank account or deposit into a bank account. I would highly recommend using BitUnix. On Uphold, just a quick example, to buy $4,000 worth of XRP right now, it would cost you about $280. You get 500 less XRP, roughly, than you would get from using BitUnix as compared to Uphold. So don't throw away your money. That's universal. So if you're trading on platforms like Uphold, they take a lot of percentage from you. And I've realized that I need to make at least nine to 10% just to be in the positive if I do a swing trade on Uphold in most cases, high times of volatility makes it even worse. So if you buy something and it goes up 20%, well, they'll just say that it's a high time of volatility and then it's gonna cost you even more. So take advantage of exchanges like BitUnix. I'll put that in the video description below and or pin comment Maxi for the XRP Bitcoin pairing. It's just USA users are gonna have an issue trying to use that platform um, unless you've already signed up for the account. And if you do wanna show me personal support, Consider joining Tom's Army. I would love to see more members of Tom's Army. We've lost quite a bit of members over the last couple months. And I would love to see more people in the comments and the lives that are part of Tom's Army. Or consider sending one YouTube super chat per month. As we're really hurting right now to, uh, to produce revenue here on the stream. As it's been just on a beeline down for the last month or so since my son was hospitalized. So I'm going to work my ass off to try to push this back in our favor. Otherwise, I'm going to have to look for different kind of ways to try to push some revenue for this community because uh, there's no profitability if I can't push revenue. And if I can't push revenue, there's no way to promote this. And YouTube's certainly not going to recommend this if nobody's interested in the program. So please, I encourage you to hit that like button, share this on social media, and help get the word out for this community. As I do put factual technical analysis, a lot of people don't like me because I won't put out the FUD-based numbers. I like to put out reality. So watch this update this morning, pay very close attention. Um, and there are opportunities lurking out there. I believe the XRP Bitcoin pairing is a major opportunity. I believe just the accumulation phase is continuing on for the last several years with XRP. And right now by the accumulation through the XRP Bitcoin pairing, I've been able to pick up over 9,400 more just through that pairing, which puts me over 22,000 XRP. So I'm very happy about that but it is very much so a work in progress. Make sure if you make it until the end, type in hashtag be better, do better in the comments. And remember, help one person each and every day because if I don't do my part and you don't do your part, it's a very slippery and lonely journey to 2025 and beyond. 2028 is our true destination point, 
But right now we've got a lot of accumulation to do and a lot of studying to do so we don't get caught by the manipulators. Have a blessed day, everybody.